Welcome to this shadow work meditation. My name is Gillian Gottfredson and I will be guiding you through this process. I will speak a little first about shadow work and then guide you through a meditative process where you will have the opportunity to acknowledge and embrace the shadow parts of yourself. What you will be listening to is a meditation process using guided imagery and visualization to help you contact your own shadows and your personal resources so that you may restore, regain or retain balance within yourself. In this meditation, we work on accepting our whole self, including the shadow. The shadow part of yourself is the part that you find hard to accept, the part of yourself that you don't like or may even deny, the part you wish was not there, the part you wish would behave better. The world-renowned psychologist Carl Jung said, everyone carries a shadow and the less it is embodied in the individual's conscious life, the blacker and denser it is. At all counts, it forms an unconscious snag, thwarting our most well-meant intentions. Carl Jung continues, one does not become enlightened by imagining only figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Through shadow work, you are able to slowly deepen and become more aware and include all the many internal aspects of your being, and to be loving and kind to that which you may previously have rejected. And this eventually allows you to be more compassionate with both yourself and others. It asks you to change your views, perspectives and beliefs, and invites you to acknowledge and embrace your weaknesses and transform them into strengths. When you work with your shadow, you begin to become more attentive to your inner life and you begin to gently listen and to heal those aspects which you may previously have rejected. This process will help you to journey within and listen to your inner self in a new and loving way. You can use this process for relaxation, for emotional work and for healing. Often when you use the process your body will experience health promoting vibrations. The music you will listen to is to help you relax and have a tranquilizing effect so that you can allow yourself to enter into a meditative state and experience clearer thought processes and inner strength. Just notice whatever it is that you register. This is your own personal process. Let yourself flow with it. Some people fall asleep and if you do so, that's okay because your subconscious will receive the message whether you are asleep or awake. If you do fall asleep while you're lying down, then perhaps you can sit the next time you do the process so that you can stay more awake. No two people are exactly alike in their sensory awareness. Each of us has differences in the way we process information. And this meditation is designed to communicate with all of our senses. So simply do what is comfortable for you and what works best for you. Shadows, sadness, heavy emotions, feelings and behaviors can affect our life and health in a negative way. In order to transform and heal our shadows, we must first acknowledge, befriend, communicate with them and embrace them. We must begin to shine the light of our awareness on those parts of ourselves that we judge as unlovable or unworthy. One easy way to locate those unclaimed aspects is to look at how and when you are judging others. We usually recognize and judge others before we are aware of and recognize how we are judging ourselves. Shadow work is an ongoing process and it calls for those who are fully committed to their inner work. The goal of working with the shadow 
is to integrate and come to know and accept all those parts that we have attempted to hide or run from. Some may not be aware that these aspects exist. It is honest and instinctive work which asks us to follow our soul's call and inward responses. Carl Jung said, Beneath the social mask we wear every day, we have a hidden shadow side, an impulsive, wounded, sad or isolated part that we generally try to ignore. The shadow can be a source of emotional richness and vitality, and acknowledging it can be a pathway to healing and authentic life. We meet our dark side, accept it for what it is, and we learn to use its powerful energies in positive, productive ways. The shadow knows why good people sometimes do bad things. By facing your shadows, you begin to shine a light into the darkness and invite that which has been hiding to come out. It asks you to bring out your secrets from the corners. It also means to ask deep questions inwardly. You can start to ask yourself the reason or what causes you to react to some circumstances or people. What makes you so irritated, annoyed or angry with someone else? Where does this live within you? What frightens you? By becoming more aware of your reactions and judgments towards others, you eventually begin to see that it is yourself you are judging, and it is your own denial that is causing the suffering. By working with this, you draw your own power back to you. You empower yourself. When you are working with your shadows, the world is your classroom. With every situation there is a teaching. If you decide to shine the light within you, you will eventually begin to shine your light on those around you. You become more open and receptive. In the words of Larry Dossi, MD, the secret is out. All of us, no exceptions, have qualities we won't let anyone see, including ourselves, our shadow. If we face up to our dark side, our life can be energised. If not, there is the devil to pay. This is one of life's most urgent projects. If you want to know how you're doing, look around at the situations in your life. With just a quick glance into your inner world, you should quickly be able to know where you are and how you're doing. Listen to your body. Or your body will also tell you how you're doing. The truth is that your body speaks your mind. To begin this process, it's important that your body is in a comfortable position. So find a comfortable position where you can remain undisturbed with your eyes closed for around half an hour. Sit or lie with your spine straight and loosen any tight clothing. If it feels more comfortable, you can support your neck and your knees. If you wish, you can place a small cushion or pillow under your knees, so that your body is comfortable and the energy can flow freely. It's time for us to go to the stillness now. Begin to relax as you take a deep breath in and begin to let your body calm down. Just begin to let your thoughts drift away so that your mind can be prepared for a wonderfully relaxing experience. As you breathe, become aware of the air and how the air is passing through your nostrils easily and effortlessly. In and out. 
and allow yourself to breathe at your own comfortable pace. Just become aware of your breath. And now please take a deep breath as you count silently to three. And exhale to the count of three. And begin to focus on the rhythm of your breath. As you allow your breath to flow in. and out, gently, easily and effortlessly. And now we are going to take five deep breaths, one for your mind, one for your body, one for your emotions, one for your spirit and one for unconditional love. So begin to breathe now in for your mind and out for your mind. Breathe in for your body and out for your body. Breathe in for your emotions and breathe out for your emotions. Breathe in for your spirit and breathe out for your spirit. Breathe in for unconditional love. And breathe out for unconditional love. And just continue to breathe at the tempo that is most comfortable for you. And as you do, allow your thoughts to float away. Imagine you are letting unconditional love into your space. Imagine the energy of unconditional love floating through your body and feel and sense that you become lighter. Notice a wonderfully comfortable uplifting feeling in your body, in your emotions and in your spirit. Take some time now to check out your body and your emotions as you continue to breathe naturally. Notice these emotions and feelings and breathe into them. And just continue to breathe into them until they begin to quiet. And just allow yourself to become open and receptive to whatever your spirit wants to bring forth during this meditation. Remember, you may experience emotions, but you are not your emotions. Your emotions come and go. Learn to identify the behaviors that are sabotaging you. This may be a challenge and it may take time. Just take the time you need. 
pay attention now to any sensations in the body. And these may be signs that some pattern of behavior has been overwhelming the mind. Often, the shadow activates tightness or tension in the body. Another sign is patterns of thinking or speaking that keep repeating themselves. Sometimes feelings like sadness, anger, and jealousy or lust are enough to announce the presence of the shadow. Recognizing the signs can help you to learn to recognize what is truly your core self, which is different from the small self, otherwise known as ego. If your core self seems elusive or you are unsure, consider engaging regularly in the many life practices whose purpose is to reawaken yourself. Disciplined practices such as meditation, yoga, walking, swimming, singing, dancing, any activity in which you experience greater wholeness. As you learn to recognize your true self, the shadow begins to lose its grip. Now, from a deep place within your mind, envision yourself dressed as you are today, sitting alone on a sofa in an empty room, or if you prefer, outside in nature. Take some time to visualize yourself sitting there. You are quietly reflecting back over your life. all those experiences, some of them happy, some painful, that you've been through. Just allow some of these events to surface as you sit here alone. The times you were afraid, lost, or alone, or times when you've lost someone dear through separation or death. Just let yourself be with these memories and continue to breathe comfortably and effortlessly. Now reflect on that part of you that just couldn't handle some of these situations. The part that had to go underground and be private about how you felt. Take some time to reflect on the whole quality of your childhood. Now, reflect on those parts of you who you do not like. Which of your personal characteristics or parts of yourself are you not happy with? Which personal traits are affecting your overall well-being and happiness? As you sit in deep reflection, you look across the room or the place where you are sitting and notice a trap door or hole in the floor or the ground that you had not seen before. It's closed.
notice what the door or this hole looks like. Which colour does it have? What is the material it is made of? As you look at it, you begin to hear something stirring underneath. And you get up slowly and walk toward the door or the hole. Notice what you are feeling. As you go forward, you decide to put on a violet jacket or cloak that is hanging on a hook or on a tree close by. And there is a candle there which you decide to light. A candle to take with you. These are gifts from your higher self. Take some time now to put on the jacket or the cloak and to light the candle. As you light the candle, you can sense a beautiful fragrance like incense. Stay very close to your feelings as you do this. Now, open the trap door or look into the hole. Peer in it. Notice what happens and allow the imagery to unfold. Now see your shadow as plainly as you can and remember you are in charge of this experience. You are in control. You can bring your shadow up into the room or into the nature, or you can go into the cellar or into the ground where it lives. If you are willing, let your shadow reveal itself more fully. What does it look like? What colour, shape? And size does it have? What else do you notice? Just register how it is shaped or dressed. Its stance and body language, movements or attitude. What is the name of the shadow? Now call it by name. If you don't know, just guess its name or give it a name. Invite your shadow to speak to you if it will and to tell you what it needs. Pay attention now to what it says or shows you. Notice if a dialogue begins between you and your shadow and just allow this to unfold spontaneously. Perhaps you need to say something to your shadow. Allow the two of you to relate and stay very close to your feelings as the images appear. Your breath can remain stable and calm as you do this. Gradually, 
the image begins to fade in a white greyish light. Just allow the scene to fade away into the light. And as the shadow is dissolving, love it as much as you can. What are the resources the shadow needs? Tell it out loud to the shadow. Is it maybe love? Or courage? Or empathy? Or kindness? Or forgiveness? Just tell it out loud to the shadow. Send these resources to your shadow. See yourself sending the resources to your shadow as it fades away and feel love in your heart as you thank your shadow graciously for whatever it did or didn't do, said or didn't say just now for being who it is. Bid your shadow goodbye. And now take a moment to explore your choices. In what ways can you evolve and adopt new behaviors and act in new ways to meet and embrace the wisdom of your shadows? ways that acknowledge and embrace your shadows, at the same time evolve personally, so that you let the dark and light sides of you contribute to your inner balance. Take some time now to appreciate your shadow self as much as you can. and observe any resistance in yourself. When you are able to listen to the higher self over the ego and respond in a new way, positive energy and solutions flow like creative rivers into your mind. Now slowly remove your violet jacket or cloak, place it somewhere safe and gently blow out the candle, putting it back where you found it. Now see yourself back on the sofa in the empty room or in your place in nature dressed as you are today, alone once more. Just remain in quiet reflection for a while. Be still and quiet. Take a deep breath and as you do move your fingers and toes and begin to become aware of your physical body, peace, love and joy is within you as you in your body, in your soul, it is part of your inner wealth at every moment wherever you are always, in all ways, part of the wondrous universal language of light and pure consciousness, in your home, with your family, with your friends, at work, when you laugh, when you cry, the universal unconditional love protects you, supports you, and now become aware of the sounds around you and your sense of hearing. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and continue your day feeling refreshed, 
revitalized, rejuvenated, energized and full of health, joy and well-being, realigned with your own true nature.